boys and girls. Today we'll be making a welcome sign in honor of Parshas Vayera. Here are the supplies which we'll need. The welcome sign printed on cardstock, watercolors and thin paintbrushes, salt, liquid glue, scissors, ribbon or string, water, and finally a water dropper. Now we are going to get started. The very first step is to apply glue to the letters and then to the sun, trees, ground, and the house, but not the door or the window. Meanwhile, let's learn about why this craft is connected to Parsha Svayira. In this Parsha, we learn that Lot and his wife hosted the two malachim that came to warn them that Sodom would be destroyed. The Medrash says that Lot's wife went around to her neighbors asking for salt for her guests. We can learn from Lot and his wife Tavachnasas Archim to host guests and treat them nicely. Do you know how great this mitzvah is? Take a moment to imagine. Imagine traveling through a big and dense forest. You are hungry and tired, and you have no more energy to travel. Suddenly, you see a house in the clearing ahead of you. It is a Jewish house, and the owner opens the door and happily welcomes you into his home. You are served a delicious, nourishing meal, and then you are offered to stay over for the night. It must feel very good to be able to rest properly. How thankful you are to your host for treating you so nicely, even though they don't even know you. What's the best way that you can treat your guest? There are so many ways to make our guests feel comfortable. When we offer them food, we can offer different options and make sure that the food is delicious and satisfying. When they stay overnight, we can make sure that the room they are staying in is warm and welcoming. Maybe we can leave a nice note or special welcome packet on their bed to make them feel special. When our guests come into our house, we can greet them with a warm smile and when they leave, we can escort them out and tell them how much we enjoyed their company. Now back to our craft. The next step is to pour salt over all the areas where you put glue, making sure to cover the letters, the house, the trees, and all the other gluey areas. As soon as you finish with that, shake off the extra salt. You might like to have a plate prepared for this purpose to minimize any mess. Guess what we are going to do next? This part is fun. We get to paint the salt all different colors. Which colors will you choose to use? In order to get the paints ready, add water to each of the watercolors using the water dropper. Squirt just a tiny bit of water in each color. We don't need a lot for it to work well. While doing this, think about which colors you'd like to use. Next, rub the paint gently with the brush to make sure the water mixes with the paint. Begin painting the salt, but make sure to do so lightly so that the salt doesn't move around. Here's where you get to be creative. You can choose to paint each of the letters with the same color or with different colors. What color do you think Lot's wife's salt was? Maybe it was pink or maybe it was a different color. Either way, you get to paint the salt however you'd like. When painting the trees, one way to make them look like they have dimension is to paint the bottom of each tree with one shade of green, whichever shade you choose, and then paint the upper half of each tree with a different shade of green. Finish off the look by adding a touch of yellow to each of the trees. You can use a similar method when painting the grass below. While you're painting, you can think about where you'd like to put your welcome sign. Will you hang it on your front door so that your guests will see it first thing when they walk into your home? Or will you choose to hang it somewhere else? Maybe on your bedroom door, or maybe you'll choose to suspend it out the window hanging from a string. That would be pretty silly. You'd definitely have to ask your mother for permission to do that. What other ways will you find to welcome people into your house? It's a question to think about. Meanwhile, once we're finished painting most of the parts covered by salt, next we'll paint some of the parts that do not have salt, the door and the window of the house, and don't forget about painting the bright yellow sun. Lastly, we'll finish by painting the frame around the picture. What color will you choose? Will it be yellow, like in this video, or will it be a different color? Now that our beautiful sign is complete, we will cut it out so that it will be ready to hang. Carefully cut around the frame, doing your best to follow the black outline. Next, make one hole on each side. You can use the back of one of the paintbrushes to do so. Now cut your ribbon to the length you want and tie it first through one hole, making sure it is secure. We don't want it to come apart. And then through the second hole, again, making sure that it is tied securely.
and ta-da, we're all done.